Hi all, welcome back to Oro 17 development tutorial. Today, in this video, let us discuss about how to create an XLS report in Oro 17. As we all know, XLS reports are necessary for every organization, which helps for easy data manipulation and representations. So let's check how can we create this XLS report in Oro 17. The XLS reports can either be created using the report XLS base module or through JS file. So uh, here we are going to use the JS files to create the XLS report. So for that here you can see that I am already created I have already created a button to bring the XLS report in the in my college management module. And here you can see that I have created a record in college management module. And here you can see some of the fields like uh, first name, last name, father mother admission and so and so here you can see a button that is to print student excerpts report so i'm clicking this particular uh on this particular button a method will be called and the uh excerpts report will be printed so this particular excerpts report will contains the uh the student details i'm adding the student details here so uh this particular excerpts report will contains the student details like first name last name all the details from this particular form will be seen in the uh, excellus report and now we need to pass or we need to return the necessary information required for generating the student report so for that i'm going to return it here let's return the type that is type equal to ir.actions report and the data uh, so the next one is the data need to be passed so the data so I'm passing into the dictionary that uh, I'm creating a dictionary here. That is the model is you can see the model that is student dot record. So I'm, I'm adding the model here that is student dot record. And then we need to add options. So options are needed for the or options for the generating the uh, report. So I'm going to add options. So into the options, I'm going to add the JSON encoder uh, representation of data dictionary. So for that, I have imported JSON here. You can see that at the top, I have imported the JSON. So I'm going to add JSON here. That is JSON dot dump data. And also I'm adding the default here. That is default equal to date dot utils dot dot json default and after that we need to pass the uh, output report so the output format so let's add the output format here that is output and next we need to pass the report name so report name i'm giving the report name as uh, student dot report uh, student report so let's add the student report here and finally we need to pass the report type so at the bottom i'm going to add the report type here that is also excellent and after uh, creating the return we need to add an action manager js file for the excellent report so in the static src js you can see that i have created an action manager here so here you can see the action manager i have imported the necessary things that i needed like registry download block ui sections and here you can see that i have uh, added error i have uh, here you can see that i have cat or i have associated the handler or i have associated the category with uh, ir.actions report handlers and uh, here the registers uh, it registers a handler for the action related to the report type of excellence and here we are checking whether uh, here you can see that i have created an if condition and here it checks whether the report type is excellence so if it, the report type is excellence then a new deferred object is being created here using the uh, deferred method so uh, these objects are uh, a way to handle asynchronous operations and their result and after that here you can see that i have created a download i have added the download function to fetch the uh, the report data asynchronously it makes the uh, it you can see that it makes the uh, adjust request to the url here so the url xls report and 
and also uh, with the data here you can see that i've given the data with the data provided in the action object and here you can see that i've called a success callback here and this success callback uh, which resolves the default object when the uh, download is successful and also you can see the error callback this error callback is used for error handling and this is uh, and when it come and here you can see the complete callback so after that we need to define the xls uh, report the url xls report for that i have created a controller here you can see the controller main.py and the controller here here you can see that i have imported json and also uh, i have imported http uh, content deposition request html escape after that i have defined a class that is xls report controller and also the root and the url here and here you can see that i have defined a method and inside the method here you can see that uh, here i have retrieved a cur the current uh, user uid from this section here you can see the report object the uh, here the report object it gets the report based on object based on the provided model and the user id and here you can see the object which is deserialized de from the json format and here you can see that a dummy token has been generated here we have created a try exception condition and inside the try have given that if the output format is xls then a response has response object of uh, is been created for serving the xls file so here you can see that i have given that i have called the report object that model uh, get xls report that is the python uh, function has been called here and here you can see that inside the options that is from the json.load options we have fetched the uh, details that is like uh, the data we needed here you can see at the bottom here you can see the admission date and the uh, names we have fetching the details from it though and here you can see that uh, after that i have checked the output uh, from here you can see that I'm, i have mentioned the output format from the if the output format is xls then here you can see that uh, we are just uh, returning the type that is uh, the content type and also the content deposition in the response so at the bottom here you can see that we are uh, re we are returning the response here uh, so inside the repo this response contains the content type and the com content deposition and so you can see that the in uh, we are just calling the get xls report this particular uh, method is defined or method is defined inside the model so inside the model that is student record here you can see the method that i have defined that is get xls report inside this xls report we are going calling the uh, we are uh, we are creating the outputs that is io i first first of all remember to import the io and also the xls report writer so here you can see that i have uh, imported X io and also the xls writer from here here you can see that i have added the workbook that is i have added a workbook here that is xls writer workbook and also i have uh, created a sheet the workbook add worksheet i have created and also i have mentioned the cell format and head and also the heading here after that you can here you can see that i have inserted the sheet into the sheet and adding the merge rate that is i am adding the heading that is student details and also i am adding the uh, i am setting the columns inside the sheet and here you can see that in inside i am going to write here i am writing the heading into the sheet so here you can see the different heading that is admission date first name last name father's name mother email so and so and after that i'm going to write the values that is a uh, data of i'm calling the uh, values inside the or i'm adding the data to the sheet and after that i'm uh, here at the bottom we are closing the output uh, and let's check the ui and here let's click the button that is pre student xls report and here you can see the xls report here you can see the uh, heading that is student details and the other heading like uh, the table headings admission date first name last name father mother etc and here you can see the data can also be seen and this is how we create an xls report in odo 17 thank you